them from securing the mission. All right, gamers. Here we are. Top four semifinals. Wholesome going up against mutants. Mutants are going to be attacking first. Already spotting out. This is a weird portal that's happening here. So it may have been some shenanigans between those, but still, mutants are going to be claiming the top here and putting down a good amount of poke. We've we've mostly seen wholesome <laughs> going up against ghost teams. Pardon me. This is going to be one of the first time we see uh, Hydron and Sinatra go up against fellow hit scam players. That's going to be SJP and of course Ant. We have seen Ant actually outplay one of our favorites in the tournament, Sonder on Hella. So I'm very excited to see what Ant can do on this off angle. For now, seems like a lot of presence has been gained on the point by the attacks, and Hydra's actually fell down, but likely has been rezzed. Oh, no res, actually. Gonna be a while coming back. That's a good turnaround, though. SJP falls down at the hands of Sinatra. Kaluj gets the second one. TTK will not be finishable, or rather will not be resable by the Rocket Raccoon. It's just the Punisher who's managed to pick that one up. Now Kaluj can hold the line. The Brute's gonna be on there alone. And with Ant falling down, I think that this fight is likely done, so. Oh, hello. SJP manages to get the drop on Hydron, though. Maybe Hydron came from the back. Still, I think that too much damage has been done by Wholesome here. Mutant's going to have to reset and go again as the last stragglers have been put out. And this time, they're going to be attacking without a Doctor Strange portal. So, got to be a lot more direct with this. Sinatra caught on the entry. Quick scourge grenade to try and obscure TTK. But now, can you try and rush this? There's enough healing behind, certainly, to try and make it work. TTK wants to hold the space, but can't afford to do so against that shotgun. Iron Mixer already been taken out by Ant. How is the group in first pick? That's weird, and that's a huge eye. The shift from the Loki's not enough to save TTK. Forces out the Groot ultimate. Who's it from? I Remix grabs multiple people in. Yes, but it's not going to be any confirmed kills. TTK has been rezzed up, but SJP is gone, and that means that it's already probably curtains here for mutants, unless Sinatra gets picked here by TTK. A nice zip line away. Over to safety. TTK going to have to fly away now and possibly continue playing this just to make sure that they can control the space. Hydron's got a good angle here on those who would enter to try and support TTK, but Ant's got the high ground and Ant's got an ultimate as well. Sinatra pulls out the Punisher ultimate. That's a huge amount of damage and SJP's on the wrong side of it. An answering use of the Eye of Agamotto here. Yes, it stuns Kaluj, but there's just not enough damage after Sinatra's car through multiple people to try and make something happen here. Wait a second, they're going to try and turn it around. Undermanned. Hydron already forced to be rezzed. A huge investment here from the mutants. And guess what? The Punisher's just too slow to really catch up on this. And now Hydron's going to be able to rebuff the incoming damage using the Hell C-130 SJP super low gets behind cover yes a discovery of ants in the corner and the ants nest has been absolutely genocided here by hydron and with 60 seconds left things are not looking good here for the mutants attack once again control of a high ground hydration ready to go with a copy if necessary we've seen a lot of copies of both punisher and dr strange thus far the Eye of Agamotto on demand is great after Kaluj forces out those early responsive ultimates. And Kaluj might be able to get a good drop down here as well. Let's keep an eye on this. Not many ultimates here for the attacks of a mutant. So unlikely to be able to really get too much done. But an opening pick on Sinatra is exactly what you're looking for from Ant. And it seems that he may well have been too far from a res beacon as well. Eye of Agamotto blocks. Great moves here by TTK. Hydration. How do you try and clutch this now with Remix down as well? Maybe he could be res, but no. Another player out of range of the respawn beacon. Hydration might try and move aside now. I'm good to go. There's going to be plenty of presence on the point. Hydron staggered out. That's going to make contesting a little bit more difficult. Hydration on the point. In stealth. Uses the copy to go onto the Doctor Strange. Eye of Agamotto is going to get rid of SJP. Can they get the finish? No, it's not going to be real. Kaluj with the portal. Trying to clutch, but guess what? It's already been capped. And at the last moment, mutants are going to be able to get onto the point. This might actually be a feed here as well. Space and Sinatra going to be forced to give up a lot of space. And now a lot of the capacity for Kaluj to disengage is going to be missing. The smoke will clear. And that will be a point here for the mutants. Now they can finally move on to the second area where there's not so much oh, for Sinatra to do. Hydron picked off early. Some great weaving there by TTK. And it seems like yet another res beacon is unavailable. So playing on demand once more are wholesome. Your god is suffering. Just playing for mid at the moment. Trying to control this high ground to give optimal sniping spaces over to their respective punishers. 
The Fruit Wall's broken down. Maybe it's a moment for Sinatra to go forward, but it seems like he's constantly being punished here. TTK. Oh, we're cooking with the Eye of Agamotto. That looks like three who are going to be caught. Is the follow-up there? It certainly looks like it could be, but the healing is solid. Great plays here from Hydration to keep everyone alive. Iremix desperately needs to be healed up. Down to only 200 HP, and Hydron gets lost in the mix. Everyone's falling down wherever you do look. And when the smoke clears, still it's the payload that's moving forward. Nuck, respawn beacon, seems to be down. Will be available in only 18 seconds. Kalooch has been fallen as well. Taken down by SJP, who is moving forward with that shotgun. It seems like momentum's been on the side of mutants here, and despite their struggles on first, they could grab second in record time. In competitive, we're yet really to see the third point of Shibuya become active as Hydron takes to the skies. This is a fantastic area to rain down from. Misses the finish on and That's going to be the cap here. Hydron has been able to do damage, but in the end, it's all been for naught as moving forward our mutants and boy, are they schmoving. I remix. All he can do is flee as the rest of his friends cry out for pain. taking control of top here. Let's have an eye on Vinny. We've seen huge Drew ult, especially from LH Cloudy previously. Can the same be done here? One dragged in, it's only I remix. The follow-up might be good enough, but no. Lovely placement of the Loki shift from Hydration keeps him alive. Sinatra falls down, instantly rezzed, but that is going to be a little bit of movement that has to be taken backwards. Harvey gets taken out, and managed to get a melee kill on his counterpart in Hydron. Hydron caught unaware, seemingly, and Sinatra is going to take a huge amount of damage and shuts down the ultimate. That was the optimal ult that needed to be broken down, and Ant's the one to do it. An absolute monster on the Heller has taken out both of the opposing DPS, and Holsum are falling apart at the seams now. They're so low on ultimates, only Hydrations remains. Sinatra, Kaluge, and Space all invested in that previous fight and found nothing. This could be a full completion, despite the dramas on first. TTK playing in the bank with Ant. Oh my goodness, they're just going to go for a one on Hydron. And it's just that easy. And is surviving, but Hydration manages to weave one through, getting the melee quickly. TTK rejoins the team. The Amplifier is there for Mutus to try and run on forward. Ant takes to the skies after being raised. Can you even stand up against this amount of damage which is being placed over? Hydron has to move on in. Hydration so low as well. Kaluge up against the world, and the world is simply too heavy. Atlas shrugged, Atlas coped, and Atlas wept as mutants finish their push. We have ourselves a game. Including which side you're on. It's not going to be just me yapping. Soon we're going to have Jace join us, but unfortunately Jace would be desync for this one as he was unable to get into game in time. Hello, future YouTube viewers. This is a banger. Speaking of which, uh, we have put our previous YouTube VODs of uh, Wholesome vs. SRP Check on my YouTube. If you are interested, that's me and Val casting. So make sure that you check those out. Subscribe to the YouTube. I think exclamation mark YouTube in chat might take you there. I'll be putting up multiple VODs over the next couple of weeks of the things I've managed to cast in this. Some of them I don't know the team's names. So it's just blue team versus red team, baby. Val, could you walk Jace through getting into these games for me, please? Okay. Returning to the primary content. Wholesome here. They need a full completion. And not only that, we saw Mutants actually complete with time. Talk about beautiful play of momentum. It feels like Wholesome might be less than used to actually going up against a more coordinated team, or at least a team that's able to actually deal with first. Had a couple of staggering issues. Of course, Kaluja is going to cook with his first portal. Just going towards the back to try and do a quick map flip here. Now, my interest is on Ant. He was actually taking some early scouting. Is someone still stuck back there? No, that's just the Loki clone. That'll be fine. Ant has been popping off thus far. Has to be careful not to test Sinatra and Hydron too much. Of course, being this deep in... Oh! Hydron's actually missed for Crow. That's going to mean that they're in a more vulnerable position for this flank. So there is a fight going on, on the point. Collusion remix moving as one. Already a little bit of pressure towards that cap, but still nothing going to be coming through when it actually comes. 
to the uh, permanent ticks that can be gained. Oh, and Sinatra's managed to find Harvey. That's a huge pick there from Sinatra. Just playing from his high ground has been brutal. Ant needs to try and dislodge him somehow. But look at his pocket healing coming through from space. And of course, there's going to be a res beacon around here as well. Once Sinatra gets up here, it's so difficult to try and dislodge him. Buff coming through over here for SJP. If only they can find it. Hydron is demanding a huge amount of attention right now. He's actually being 180 from both sides here. Even iRemix is throwing in some grenades. What excellent target focus coming through from Wholesome. And this should allow for a full capture here for the side of Wholesome. All right, Sinatra still up on the perch. It's not really favored in this particular fight against Heller at this range. Heller's definitely going to keep Sinatra on notice here. But of course, at the moment, Sinatra's main concern is keeping everyone at bay while the rest of the team can move up. Question is, with the time in mind, are we going to see Wholesome? Oh, hello. And I have like a Gamoto in the back, maybe going for a 3D peek. It goes deep. That's a nice shift coming through from a Loki and a block from TTK. Kaluj has unfortunately had to feed through that one. And Ant now is going to try and rebuff the incoming damage. Looking for Sinatra. So it's going to be a massive investment here. Both SJP and Ant using their ultimates does mean that this is just a free disengage from the side of Wholesome and three ults down. Now they should be able to take this with their own dearth of resources. Hydron takes out Harvey. That's a great early pick. Not sure if a resurrection is available. Indeed it is, but that Loki's going to have to set up again. And now Ant has managed to turn things around on Hydron. What a nice double weave there. I have Agamotto grabs two. Question is, is a follow up there? No Hydron. Able to keep everyone at bay until it is Kalush who manages to strike on back and fallen down as well. Sinatra's managed to find a big flank here with the shotgun. Kalush under massive pressure. I remix is going to relieve it with the walls, raises the defenses, and make sure that no one can follow up. Now it's time for Sinatra to try and make this happen. A huge dearth of targets in the way. None yet to fall down, but look at this. Just carving through these. I remix has managed to take out Vinny, split off without the heals, partitioned by the ultimate from the Punisher. And good time is being made here now for Wholesome, despite the expenses that are incurred. SJP falling low. This has got to be Ant, maybe with a clutch. An amplifier from space buys the power. It's going to make engaging here real difficult. Hydron actually loses out to Ant. It should be resible. Indeed, it is. And Kalu just coming around the back. Kalu just trying to cook with the eye of Agamotto, but can he get it in time? He's only 65. Finally, the healing arrives, but unable to clutch. And of course, that means that there's already been usage of the res beacon. Kalu got a little bit greedy. Couldn't hit the shots in time. And just at the end of second, we're going to see the mutants hold. This could be troublesome now. There are three minutes to play with, but this is not a good area to try and continuously hit your attacks. You lose so much time between your rounds. Well, the thing is, at least with Kalush having the Eye of Agamotto now, does not have to play silly in order to try and get that last little bit of ultimate charge. Has actually lost their flight, though, so they are away from everyone else. Down goes the beacon for the Punisher. Punisher on the other side using the ultimate. SJP sees Sinatra, carves him down, gets rid of the Loki in no time at all. And yes, there is a resurrection. Loki shift keeps everyone safe from the incoming damage. That's two ultimates, and that's going to be at least a reset with Kaluch falling down as well. You need to get two kills there to mitigate the resurrection, and they did. Oh, SJP catches a headshot. This needs to be healed up. Indeed, it will be. And there's a buff. Hydron holds in too long to try and make that work. Remix with the Groot ultimate. Could be cooking here. Going to try and do it without Hydron. Drags multiple people in. Where's the follow-up? It seems to be missing. Here's Sinatra, though, to try and follow up a big ultimate from Kaluj. Multiple players stunned, but the healers are on top of things. Remix has been stunned up. Oh, my God. Another double from TTK. Hits the E. And that gets rid of Sinatra. SJP's been rezzed on the other side. Nuck has been found, though. He's cooking on... He's cooking on the flank. Kaluj might well be able to get SJP here. Could be what's needed. And indeed it is. Hydron from the top. It's a cheeky angle with the LC-130. Not sure where he found that one out, but it certainly has found some value. And hydration, if needed, can just reinforce this one with an extra E. Or even a copy for an ultimate. Moving forward. 
That's going to be a copy from Harvey. Who have they gone for? The group. Plenty of walls. The defenses have been raised. TTK taken down by Hydron. Not sure if it's resible. Indeed, it is. The group oh, gets multiple players. Four of them are dragged in there. But it seems like everyone's surviving with the exception of Hydron. In the end, it is going to be a resurrection. Should be a full completion. And yes, it is. An extra couple of minutes given over to the attack of Wholesome. As they need to try and complete third now. And these staggers are not going to help the mutants defense. That's so many groups, so many walls. Nine walls on the scene. TCK is going to be able to get out of here with their life, it seems, which is huge for a generation of support ultimates. Nuck and Harvey are going to be enjoying that. Just catching poke in a reasonable manner. Question is, how is Sinatra going to get value out of this ultimate? Can you get that kind of surprise on the go? Is Ant playing on the off angle here? Oh, Ant's got a fairly good angle. Here we go. Sinatra moving in. A huge amount of damage for Loki shift is making everyone else almost invincible. So SJP can just walk up with a shotgun and say, no thanks, brother. And with so many dying from the side of Wholesome, the res beacon's not enough. Hydration used their own ultimate as well. I think they copied over their own rocket raccoon in order to make sure that there was an amplifier for Sinatra. That's a lot of resources now missing for Wholesome to try and push on forward. As I Remix is going to be leading the charge here with their own Groot ultimate. Nice grenade. Forces Ant off the angle. Ant, of course, can save themselves with their own ultimate. Hydron in the one versus one. Ant absolutely shits on him. There's no other way to put it as TTK gets themselves a triple. Oh, the strange gap cannot be overstated. SJP heavily invested. Of course, that may well have broken down Kaluja's shield and made TTK's play all the easier. It's a big investment on the defense now with 40 seconds remaining. It's the unlikely that we're going to see Wholesome able to get through this with a greater time bank but they can still make this work if they can cap both teams should get an extra minute hydron's gonna make a risky play here looking for the res beacon we'll be able to find it real soon might even go for the ultimate in the back already remix has fallen down sjp on the other side unable to be res but remix is back in his own right space are they going to decide to use the amplifier here or are they going to try and wait for a more opportunistic approach hydron takes to the air oh the angle is perfect the res beacon's gone the amplifier likely to fall as well huge amount of damage done to the tanks that's going to put the healers on the back foot as kaluj moves on forward remember damage to the shield of the other strange here is going to be paramount to stop the blocking of this ultimate and it's caught away by a wall beautiful play by i remix but has he gone too far to try and make this work no the healing is good as it always has been kaluj only grabs one here it's sjp and the follow-up is going to be there a critical massive ultimate has been met here for wholesome as sinatra's gonna carve through whoever dares to present themselves sjp res ttk it's a little bit risky to try and go for the ultimate gets killed during it an excellent shutdown courtesy of hydron and i'm still trying to get through the numbers just bullied out here by kaluj as sjp moves forward with their ultimate they're just demolished kaluj is not having any of that and we go to extra innings three two three oh let me give you some stats here bam holy damn damage taken by i remix 71k <laughs> i'll tell you what ant right now is putting down a huge amount of pressure on those tanks look at that 40 and oh uh, not 40 no 40 and 10 40 and 10 against wholesome Ant is definitely a player to watch in this scene if ever there was one kaluj on the other side doing fantastic in the 33 kills 16 final hits as well that's a huge amount on the other side a lot more of a final hits coming through from ant but Ant has been winning their duels that much cannot be denied hydration's actually pumping out so much healing on the loki it's crazy evidently a uh, big part of Iremix only being able to get 15 deaths out of that 72k damage taken. Oh wait, where's the, where's all the where's all the sound gone? Okay, sounds back. All right, let's keep an eye on this. So one of the things here that's really worth bearing in mind is that Wholesome were a lot better at taking first point than four, mutants were mutants three, were a lot two, slower one. taking almost all four of the minutes Don't to cap that first point here we go again oh wait the portal's been interrupted 
Was it? Oh, that was a stun orb from Ant. Oh my goodness, that's so good. That's 180 second cooldown. That's back now, and that means that Sinatra is not going to be able to get onto that back area where he's been so effective in the previous rounds. Now Sinatra's just got to try and take this by hand, getting the buff up from a Rocket Raccoon. But remember, he's only a little boy. He's only a little lad. 300 HP to play with, gets an extra armor pack. Vinny, he'll be caught out in this corner, but no, manages to disengage fairly easily. Harvey's going to start having those clones racked through. As Wholesome are going to try and find themselves an entry without that strange portal. What a play from Ant. Oh, Ant, though, is punished. Hydron manages to win that duel, finally. Is it resurrectable? I think that Ant may well have been too far away. So that off angle has been punished in multiple ways now. SJP forced to move away. Harvey's been taken down by Sinatra. And once again, it seems like that first point is being delivered quickly into the hands of Wholesome. Hydron does eventually get taken out, but tell you what, he's done his job already. Two players taken down and in range of the res beacon. I'm not sure if spawns at the moment are much longer. Oh, space has been taken down, though. That's a huge pick. Are we going to see an attempt to contest here? Surely not. No, that's going to be the case. And has to get away. Question is, how do you do that? Seems like for now, Ant's just playing evasive, trying to avoid incoming fire. This is already feeling like a very good push here for Wholesome, given the troubles that we saw mutants have previously. Question is now, how do you play for high ground? How do you play for mid? An early expenditure of the Rocket Raccoon utility to give a lot more damage over to SJP. Maybe trying to build up towards a Punisher ultimate here. Remember, forcing them off cart can be the number one priority. That's going to be a huge Groot ultimate. And Sinatra's going to be able to carve through all of them that are in front. Vinny never stood a chance. And the same. It's just kill after kill. It's been a hydration ultimate. No, not a hydration, not a low key ultimate. TTK over the top. That's going to be three players stunned, but the follow up simply isn't there. Was trying to make a hero play, but the rest of the team weren't in a position to follow up on it. SJP can be disengaged from here. And there are just too many bodies, too many shields, too many walls. The bullets are stopped, and Wholesome truly have momentum on their side now, floundering from the mutants as their once considerable advantage has been taken out from under them. Hydron looking for some early peel here. Oh, it's found the res beacon. If that res beacon goes down, that's going to be huge. Hydration, what's the choice here for the copy? Seems like touching's actually going to be out of the question here. And with Ant falling down, that certainly is going to be it. We could see a second full completion here. You can see from the top, overtime will instantly end if anybody leaves the cart. So for now, Wholesome do have their positions almost entirely forced, and that could be a huge boon to someone like Ant, who wants to see multiple bodies in front of that ultimate Vinny's cooking elsewhere. The Groot ultimate is available. And Hydration has plenty of options here to try and allow more damage from either copying a Punisher or, of course, more CC from copying Doctor Strange. Here we go. There's the copy. It's going to be the Doctor Strange. Hydration going to look to go over the top here and land themselves an ultimate. The Amplifier is available. It could be three. It's going to get SJP. Nice shift coming through from Maloki. That's going to stall this one. Hydron looking for Ant, and Ant has been found. Uh, it's going to be a counter ultimate from Ant, trying to get everyone off that card. So many are up together. So much damage to be done. But it's good focus fire that brings them down in the end. And Hydration gets raised in time. Judge. A judge, a jury, an executioner, levied here by SJP. So much damage being taken, though. Can you get these tanks off the cart? They're just so meaty in the way of this one. And Sinatra's counter-firing as they go on forward. Kaluj dies during the Eye of Agamotto. Still, it's moving forward, though. Remix brings in multiple people. Nuck has fallen. Ant has fallen. The rest of mutants are falling apart. Multiple stuns coming through from TTK. Can they be followed up upon? Not in time. Not using the shotgun is SJP. Hydron's down finally now. Is anybody left on the cart? It's the Rocket Raccoon. His small mammal body keeping it alive for but a moment. It's going to be Kaluj emerging from the portal. The shotgun has been levied. The kills have been found. And finally, Wholesome have been stopped. But not before rampaging through Shibuya. Yeah. Time to switch things up, including which side you're on. Damn. Oh, checking on those stats again. I remix coming up on 100,000 damage taken. Sheesh. And for Ant, that was a less successful defense. Only three kills over the course of it. Certainly, this has been uh, the time. Like Hydron, definitely on first, was the architect of that. I think over here. That's where we saw the Hella duel take place, and it was won. 
and Ant was simply too far away from the res beacon. That gave so much more room for Hydron to try and make plays, I think caught out maybe the Loki over here afterwards, and opened up a huge amount of space for Sinatra to find that shotgun kill. Great plays from Hydron. Both of these Punishers are doing what so much damage. But it feels like maybe a lot more of SJP's damage is going the way of I Remix. I will know everything. Considering the damage taken that we've seen. Less so going towards those. Look at how much damage SJP has taken by comparison on the Punisher. 20k. Sinatra and SJP definitely are taking a lot more of the aggression. The target focus has been strong for these teams. Oh, slight slight uh booby there on the attempt at the small grenade the small grenade the small grenade all right maybe a stolen strat here oh not stolen this is the standard though for the punisher portal upon portal violence everyone gonna move on through and it's gonna be setting up sjp oh to be absolutely mullered by kaluja apparently no time to set up the res beacon so now you're playing this without your punisher dps what a pick from kaluja unbelievably well done Force of disengagement over onto that low ground. And now SJP is going to kind of be stranded. How do you try and approach this? You can see that Sinatra with the Only space pocket left. is going to be so difficult to try and work with. There's plenty of time to try and take out these copies. And only one minute now remains. A small bunker has been built on the point to try and avoid incoming damage from the Sinatra Punisher. SJP, all the cover's been destroyed. That requires a little bit more pocketing from the Rocket Raccoon. And indeed, it's given over SJP. Just unlimited shotgun shells being dispersed. But soon that ultimate's going to go away. Indeed, the utility has been dispersed. Shifts used by both Lokis to make sure that incoming damage is going to be mitigated. It seems like TTK is actually being pushed back at the moment by Kaluj. But Sinatra and Hydron have both been taken out and Overchase is punished. And it might well be a much easier engagement here. Remember that Kaluj used their own portal to try and mess with the utility of TTKs at the beginning of this push. So a quick recontest might be out of the question. And being hunted down for the moment. A quick stun grenade to try and peel for himself. Wiggling towards that health pack. Will be the one to get it. Kaluj coming up towards that ultimate. Could be a game changer at the moment. As it's Hydron on the off angle. Sinatra too low to do anything. 9 HP. And two ticks have been given over. Already in overtime. Hydration gets found. Sinatra going to try and make an approach. But no, it's a disengage and a call it. Also know that they've got plenty of space to work with here. All they need... It's for one overextension. One poor play from Mutants, and this is in the bag. TTK looking to cook. Eye of Agamotto versus Eye of Agamotto. Soon a huge amount of his coverage is going to be broken down. Out comes Sinatra, an early ultimate here to try and get the pressure up. A shift from the Loki is perfect. A flank from Ant. It's going to be answered with Loki shifts on both sides. Huge amounts of damage are going to be mitigated. Hydron doesn't really want to use their ultimate here. And it seems like Wholesome are falling apart under the huge pressure that has been levied by the mutant attack. Sinatra could fall. And indeed he will. That is a huge stagger as Hydron's going to be the one to get out alive. Look at that. Critical mass of ultimates. Four used to win that fight by the side of mutants. Hydron, I remix, and hydration have this in the palm of their hand defensive capacity is going to be very much limited to harvey and that shift By the oh the eye of agamotto oh it's cancelled i'm not sure how it's cancelled but it is it might well have been a stun orb there from hydron that kept that from happening and now hydron can take the off angle with the hell c130 death reigns from above can you force out the shift from the loki you bet that you can and then cancel it afterwards now it's down to hydron to try and make this work on the other side Vinny tries to grab people in actually gets intercepted by the bridge it's unideal i remix also unable to get too much here as hydron gets raised on up hydration has this in the palm of his hand if only you can choose the right player to copy might want iRemix. For now, it's all about the healing. Waiting for Kaluj to maybe get a little bit closer to some kind of follow-up. But TTK on the other side can try and make this work. Flies in. Wants Sinatra. Finds him with the stun. Kaluj exactly the same. TTK is just going to move away into the safety of that Loki shift. The totem keeps his spirit alive. And Hydration and iRemix fall as well. Now this is dangerous. Everyone forgets how to play on the second defense still look at these ultimates that are available for wholesome here it's not that they're going to be uncontested 
but that is going to be a very difficult res beacon to pick up there huge amounts of cover no real flank pressure onto it and i'm pretty sure indestructible cover all we need to see is hydration well we could see a double amplifier actually if space could force out some early pressure some early resources using a copied amplifier it's going to be sjp trying to go first if this hits pay dirt, it could be over, but Sinatra manages to find the angle. The ultimate is gone. Oh, they're just being carved on through. Kaluch hits the eye of Agamotto. Remember, someone's got to be on this cart at all times. There is no room for error. And Kaluch is making sure that whoever comes to touch the cart is not going to be having a good time. It's hard fought, but it's wholesome taking the first map. And here we go, finish 113k taken by iRemix. Jesus Christ.